we're still going to be fighting the same battle we've been fighting, Mika, and that is to make sure that children who come from the most disadvantaged neighborhoods, from New York to New Jersey to California, all across America, get the same opportunities that our children get. Now, that seems like that would be something that liberals would support. I would think. Sadly, it seems that liberal special interests are the very ones who are getting in the way of making sure that the most disadvantaged, the truly disadvantaged children of America are shut out of the schoolhouse door and don't Mm. get the same opportunities that my children get or your children get. Let's bring in right now a man who is trying to do something about it. Absolutely. Bob Bowden joins us, and he's put together a movie called The Cartel. And boy, does it get to the heart and soul of this controversy. It really does. We had him on Morning Joe this morning. Uh, Bob, thank you for being with us. Such a sad moment in the movie when there is a young African-American child weeping bitterly when she finds out that her number wasn't drawn and she's not going to get into a charter school in New Jersey that will change her life. You know, those who say that uh, monopoly education, there are no consequences at all to schools that, uh, to, to the fact that we have these dropout factories, which are in every city across America, needs to see scenes like this. You know, the fact is, is that the dropout rate is over 50% in New York, L.A., Houston, Dallas, Denver, Detroit, the list goes on. Over 50%. 50, over 50%. This is according to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Bill Gates himself has called American high schools obsolete. And yet the philosophy is that if you let one of those kids go to a private school with government money, that would be terrible. That would be draining resources. That would be evil. But if they drop out, we kind of shrug and say that's okay. Exactly. Where is the outrage there? And of course, where's the outrage that when in New York City, children go to a public charter school and their lives are transformed and a child in Harlem gets the same education now as a child in these charter schools, as a child in Westchester County, the richest suburbs of New York City. And yet, it seems that the cartel that you that you document, the cartel is dedicated to one thing and one thing only, and that is an accumulation of power. Self-protection. It's a, it's a monopoly system. And, you know, let's face it, the, by any measure, if you look at international comparisons, the United States comes at the bottom of all large industrialized countries. We spend the most and we do the worst. In these countries. In this movie, The Cartel, uh, which, by the way, there's a website where people can find out how to see it, right? What's the website? Uh, Thecartelmovie.com. You need all three words, thecartelmovie.com. And uh, Bob Bowden is the director of The Cartel. What do you, I mean, we saw some clips this morning that were heartbreaking. Tell uh, our listeners what they will see and, and what they need to see. Well, the movie starts by following how little money reaches the classroom. We show superintendents in public schools making $470,000 in one year, and it happened to be the same year the guy was fired, and yet he still makes 470000 Janitors making six figures in public schools in America, all right? And so the first thing teachers should see is how little of this money reaches the classroom. A, a lot of, there's a lot of sympathy towards teachers' salaries. People think teachers should make more, and so they often vote for higher education budgets under the premise they want to give teachers more, not realizing how it, little it, of the spending you know, it, goes it, it, to teachers' salaries. It just doesn't salaries. get to it. I mean, you look, and you've documented this in New Jersey alone, where Chris Christie is trying to save the school system, trying to save the state, trying to save it all from going under. Uh, in New Jersey... They spend, taxpayers spend $17,000 per student. That is more money that is spent per student in the top school systems on the planet. And yet that money doesn't get into the classrooms. It doesn't get to the teachers. It doesn't get where it needs to go. The bureaucracy suck it up. We show an example of a $30 million football field being built at a high school where 85% of the kids are not proficient academically. Yet how do they spend their money in a, on a $30 million football field? What school's that? Uh, that's uh, the Shabazz High School in Newark. Yep. They spend thirty thirty million, million show it in the film. dollars on a football there was stadium. A KPM, in Newark. There was a KPMG audit audit of all of thirty one of these. Uh, we used to be called Abbott School Districts in New mm-hmm. Jersey. The audit showed twenty nine percent of the spending was not reasonable, wasted between a third and a quarter of their budgets. And and the wasted. Mo- and the money to these bureaucracies. We're talking about Bowden. He is he is the director of the cartel. A movie you need to see. The cartelmovie dot com. Go to it and figure out when when you get an opportunity to see it. Uh, 
Chris Christie, I want to underline this because we have a lot of people that listen to us in New Jersey. Chris Christie has been fighting the, the teachers' unions. He's been fighting the entrenched interests. He, and, and what people don't understand, and they need to understand, is when you fight the teachers' union, you're not fighting teachers. Right. You're fighting a group of people that are interested in, in well, first of all, uh, protecting patronage jobs, because that gives them power. If they can give it to their friends, political allies, family members. And secondly, controlling budgets that have billions and billions of dollars in them. That's the myth they want you to believe, that the teachers' union represents teachers. I get emails all the time, or people, uh, Q&As after the movie when I, I do film festivals and that kind of thing, who say to me, uh, I'm a teacher, I completely agree with everything, but don't use my name. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. this, there's this myth that the teachers' union represents teachers, and they, a lot of these teachers hate the union leadership. I'm telling you. I hear from them all the time. And, uh, and so... Yet it goes on. They're pressured not to say anything. They can, you know, even if they don't join the union, they still have to pay almost all the dues anyway because right. they can't opt out of the health care plan even if they want to. They can't opt out of the pension plan even if they want to have a IRA instead. And, and but you know what, though? Let's also call out the teachers, and there are a lot of them in New Jersey that get the health care benefits, that get get all of these benefits and they get zero taken out of their salary, zero percent taken out of their salary. And they they like having a job. And I've, I've found this by talking to a lot of teachers. A lot of them like having a job where they can do whatever the hell they want to do and they're not going to get fired. Yeah. They Look, can the- fall asleep at their desk for a month and they'll get sent to a rubber room and then be put back in. The, te- the union rules don't allow teachers to be fired for underperformance. It, it is, you know, it is unconscionable. You're absolutely right. The good teachers can't get merit pay, and the bad teachers can't be eliminated. It, Arne Duncan himself, and we show a clip in our film, saying that teacher performance is broken in this country. Why and, and can't just, we reward great teachers? Because the union says they have to all be considered the same. Here's, here's the argument. What they say is that because evaluation can be done in an unfair way, because you can have nepotism or favoritism that's involved in evaluating how good a teacher is, therefore we should never evaluate anyone. We should only give them raises based on do they get a master's degree, which might not, by the way, even pertain to the job they're doing, and all of these just years of service. Mika, can you think of another job where there is no accountability. Well, not where, as where much as this. It, do, it doesn't matter how bad you are or how good you are. I mean, it's it, 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 it seriously, that is what the failings of communism was, were the main failings had to do with the fact that there weren't incentives. There weren't the proper incentives to place. If I wake up in the morning and go work for the state, I'm going to go in, I'm going to punch the clock at 8.30, I'm going to come home at 5 o'clock, and I'm going to drink myself to sleep. Yeah. If I'm working for my family... I'm going to wake up at 5, and I'm going to work till 10 at night, and I'm going to work harder than everybody else because I want my family and my kids to get ahead. We have now created in these teachers' unions a situation where teachers aren't rewarded for success or failure. They're not. And, you know, for, for us watching what's happening here in New York, it has gotten, I, I think, almost ugly oh, on yes, the side of ugly. some politicians who are so insanely ambitious and so clearly tied to special interests and money coming their way that they could give a damn about the kids in their own districts. And then to criticize charter schools for being good. Yeah. These for, pe- they are jealous. Yeah. Let's, instead of fixing up their own damn schools. I'm let, sorry. Let's call it what it is. They're bought off. They're basically they bought, bought off. off. They are. And, that's, and, and it, it is any kind of statistical analysis sh- shows it's obvious, you know. And, and what do they do? They claim that you hate children if you, you know, you're draining resources from the public schools, right? Really? If you want charter schools, right? Because they're, u- they're using those resources so well. Right. I mean, look at them. I mean, right. that, you look at charter schools, so, and there's study after study that shows a charter school school will spend 65 percent yes of what a straight line public school uh, and look spend. so they get better results for less money look the fact is there are some charter schools that aren't that good there are a lot of great district public schools that's right. true too my, my whole approach and the, and the point of the film is not that we have to say all of one category is good and all of another category is bad but if you just give parents power, you give parental choice, make that the hallmark of the system, then you have a check on failure.